Hi, Music Monkeys. Welcome back to the Music Room. Lori here, showing you how to use the equipment in your music kits. Every music kit from Music Monkey Jungle comes with a dry erase folder and music sheets inserted into the folder. You also get your very own eraser and a black dry erase marker. A lot of times when I teach lessons, private lessons, small group lessons, um, big lessons, I like to use color coding when I write rhythms, but for the sake of music being written, and most of the time it's in black and white, we've got our black and white papers, black marker. So what I wanna show you today is how you use your music sheet that says four beats in a measure. On the other side of my dry erase folder, I have one big rectangle. And most of the time when I am teaching private lessons, I teach my students about the spatial awareness of beats. I have one big line right here and I always teach everybody to take their finger and make a space as centered as they possibly can. And now we have two lines. And then I teach everybody to make a space in the middle of those two lines. And now we have beat number one, beat number two, beat number three, and beat number four. However, for the sake of ease in being able to know exactly where your four beats are in your measure, I put the beat lines there for you. And what I am going to do is I am going to take my rhythm sheet. I have rhythm sheets included in every music kit. I'm going to take my rhythm sheet and I am only going to use quarter notes and eighth notes or ta's and tt's. I'm going to put my rhythm sheet right near my four beats in a measure and I'm going to take my black marker and I am going to write my rhythm. I would like it to say T T Ta T T Ta creating a pattern because patterns are something that my friends in preschool, pre-K, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, and third grade work on all the time. And right here you see this TT looks almost exactly like that TT and this TA looks almost exactly like that TA. If you look really carefully, I didn't place the TTs exactly the same placements on the beat lines, but you know, these things happen. And now when I read it, my rhythm says TT TA, T, T, ta, or eighth, eighth quarter, eighth, eighth quarter. And when you have your rhythm sheet at home and you can write your own rhythms, then you can put them down someplace. You can look at your four beats and you can say, I'm going to clap it all. And it sounds like this, T, T, ta, T, T, ta, or I'm going to pat it all, T, T, ta, T, T, ta, or I'm going to pat and clap. T, T, ta, T, T, ta. Just like we will, we will rock you. Or ooh, 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 ah, 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 cha, 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 right? T, T, ta, T, T, ta. Four beats in a measure. The more you know.